All right, the goal is to make this solar generator my garden solar generator with the battery in there. So what I have to do is rewire this whole thing. It's going to be really cool when it's done. All right, I used that orange micro solar generator all summer and it has run great, but I needed a little bit more battery, so I just added a battery and battery box out there. But I built this other one a while back, but I didn't have the intention of using it as my garden solar generator. So I kind of wanted to make this thing do everything, it, to include having an inverter in there. But I learned a lot of lessons with the orange one. Let's look on the front there. This wiring, all the wiring is 10 or 12 AWG THHN wires. Uh, tin the ends, crimped, adhesive heat shrink, the whole nine yards to get this thing correct. You see the Trojan in there. I'm not going to strap it down. There's a blower fan there up on the right. All right, here's with the power tray back in place here. Let's get in here real close and I'll show you a couple of details. On the side there, I've got the uh, USB blower fan, and that's connected there, and I don't like it there. I'm going to get an extension cord, and I also have uh, the receptacle there in case I want to run a utility cord. The switch there will kill everything on the load side, and that's connected to the load side of the solar charge controller here, and when the battery gets too low, it shuts off anyway, which is kind of cool. There's the inverter there, power's on, and now the circuit breaker, blue C systems, that's just essentially now it's just going to be an inverter kill switch and circuit breaker. There's the accessory panel all fired up. I'm going to run a USB cord over to that since that's on the load side too. And here's the real sexy part. These are Eaton ground buses. I'm using these for my cables to run in there for you know, the solar pump and the light. There's a mesh thing there. And here it is, shut. Yeah, this is going to work out really good. I want to show you something else here I did. Check this out. So I made a little 12 volt power socket charger for my battery tender junior it's got a light on it there's a fuse inside there and there's the SAE connector this is for when you want the solar generator in the garage or you want to charge it with your car or whatever and there's the battery tender junior right there it's charging that worked out really good by the way that's kind of a bonus thing all right here I am in the backyard uh, doing some work on it I moved the new solar generator out the back here to do some landscaping, some pavers and stuff, and brought my solder pot and heat gun and some adhesive heat shrink tubing to uh, clean up some of this spaghetti nonsense back here. Got one connected there. I already tinned the ends here. Guten solid. There we go. All right, now I'm going to show you some stills of uh, this project. This is actually kind of cool. Yeah, check that out right there. That's a good photo. There's the 12 volt socket there. Battery Tender Junior. There's a good picture of it with the guts hanging out. I did some cable relief in there too. It's another good picture there. There's a close up of the Eaton ground buses slash now power buses. Solar charger there. It's a Hompy 30 amp PWM. There's a picture of the fuse box and some of the spaghetti wire underneath. I'd use separate fuses on a couple of things. There we go. Look at that. I'm using a cheapo voltmeter there but actually I like it because it's super bright on the inside I have the blue C systems there's the inverter kill there's the inverter with the power on there pure sine wave there there's a good picture of what it looks like on the 
inside there with the 12 volt dedicated there on the side. Here's some pictures out back. Yeah, I like that. Oh, check this out. This is really cool. This is with everything plugged in and cleaned up. Here's the big picture there. And then I just did a little clip here at the end to kind of show you what I did a little bit more landscaping, you know, some paver bricks around there to keep it from the weed whacker and stuff. And I got the little side solar charger working too. So, all right, guys, hey, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This is a great project. Took a lot of time, but uh, I'm glad it's done. We'll see you next time.